real nice beer from Fort Myers named Chris is moving so he donated uh, his 55 gallon tank to us and also brought us a pair of this uh, wild caught electric blue Acaras once again the electric blues are usually known to come from the captivity and they're created especially this morph in the lab but these are wild caught so they're already acclimated and ready to go we're gonna put them in the in their new tank and see what happens they almost look like red ter uh, green terrors to me but they're definitely the Akara Chris says they're assertive and they, and they stay on the ground but they're not and they and they uh, protect their territory from each other but they usually don't bother other fish so hopefully they will be alright he had four of them two males and two females and he had babies but he doesn't know exactly which gender these 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 guys are. Come on, sweetie. Yeah, they're pretty smart. Pretty smart at evading the, the net. Yeah, this guy got a damaged eye. Chris already told me about it. Yeah, hopefully you're gonna eat him, right? Yep, you see the red tinge fringe on the on the fin. Interesting. Not that I know a lot about acaras, I don't. They're nice and beefy for acara. I thought they don't exceed four inches. They, these look like about five six inches and beefy. Five hours later, a couple of new Akaras. This one, this guy had lovely red fringes on his on his fins. He still does, but they were thicker from what I could see before. That looks to be the male, and that other guy doesn't have anything like that. Probably female. Also, the, the guy that's brighter is missing one eye, so that's probably from the fighting of the males. Again, Chris tells me these are wild caught electric blue morph, electric blue morph, which is very interesting. And they're big for a car. I never knew a car get that big, as I said. I thought like four inches. They look like about six inches and beefy.